Hey, welcome to Drawing Through Luke. I'm Steve Thomason, and I'm working on the third book in the series of creating a cartoonist guide to the Gospels. I'm working on the Gospel of Luke right now, and in this episode, I'm going to give you an update on the progress that I've made over the last few weeks. I've finished all the way through page six out of 24 pages, and I'm going to show you some new features I've added to the website. And then in the second half of the video, for you artists out there, I'm going to show you some great tricks that I've learned about using the Comic Draw app on my iPad in conjunction with the Procreate app and how I can go back and forth and use the best of both of these apps working together. So let's jump in. All right, so this is cartoonistbible.com. Come to the home page. Remember, you can always access the bookshelf right here on this menu, no matter where you are. But the bookshelf is also on the home page. Remember, this is an interactive bookshelf. You can click on any book you want to get to the material there, or you can click on the side bubbles for the genre that it's in. But we are in the Gospel of Luke. So we're going to click on Luke. So I've made some made some great progress over the last few weeks. Uh, this is the overview page. Uh, there are 24 pages in the final project. Uh, what it will be in each one of these squares represents a page of the graphic novel. And so far, I have actually sketched out all the way through page 12. And I have completed, fully completed up through page six. And remember, every single one of these pages will have PowerPoints that you can download that walk through each panel. And there you click here to download them. You preview them here. And you can print out a PDF, a high quality PDF of this page that you could print and hand out. I'll show you one more thing that I did I think is helpful. So I created this interactive chart for narrative lectionary preachers. So this is the red boxes represent each page of the graphic novel. So again, there's 24 pages. The orange sections represent the parts of Luke that we're skipping as we preach through the narrative lectionary. And then the green sections and purple dates represent the preaching texts from the narrative lectionary. So if you want to use this uh, cartoonist guide to the Gospel of Luke as a help for your narrative lectionary preaching, this is a quick and easy way to jump to it. So uh, in this moment in time as I'm recording this, my next preaching assignment is January 24th. So I will click on this. And here we have Luke page 5. So this will be my starting point. And as I create more visual commentary, um, there's there. And oh, speaking of visual commentary, I do want to show you one other thing. You go to page three. As I develop these pages, you'll see that I will add commentary to the pages uh, and break down the page and actually write commentary about each section. Uh, here in this particular instance, there's a video that I made uh, four years ago when we preached on this. And I'll link to other uh, resources. So this is just an ongoing process. This resource will grow each week. So there you go. Okay, so I found this really cool workflow uh, between the Comic Draw app on my iPad and Procreate. I really like laying out the entire book in Comic Draw. I do the sketching there, I do all the lettering on there, but I really like painting in Procreate and because I've been doing that for a while and it just really works. So I have found this really nice workflow to go back and forth. So I want to show that to you right now. So the first thing that I do is uh, this is a sketch of, uh, this is page six, which happens to be the one I just finished yesterday. Um, so this is a sketch of the layout, and I've taken from the um, layout layer, I've taken and I've transferred all of the word balloons and the squares, the panel outlines, to the drawing layer. And then what I do is I, I go, I export 
and come back to the that I take and I you hit the gear wrench icon you say you click share current page open in another app and then you want to save it as a Photoshop document because procreate reads Photoshop documents choose how to send and then I'm just going to click my procreate icon and then it sends the Photoshop document right into my procreate app go ahead and cancel that and then I'm gonna come over here to procreate and you'll see that it automatically it's importing as soon as you open up procreate and it, there it is up in the upper left hand corner you can see that it's um, Luke demo page six that's the file that I just sent over so I'm going to just I grab that and I drop it into my stack of Luke and then when you open it up it puts the white background in the background so you can see it's preserved all of the layers that I created in comic draw app which is really cool so then what I can do is I go in and um, I paint this in Procreate, but I've already done the painting. So I'm going to open up the page that I've painted. And I, what I want to do in this video is just show you how I export and copy each finished panel and paste it back into Comic Draw app. So here are my finished panels. I've got each panel in a group. So this is panel one. And you can see that there's a, a background layer, there is a body color layer, there's the ink layer, and then there is the boundary layer of the panel. And these are as a group. So the first thing I want to do is hide the color background because I want it to be a transparent background. And then a cool feature of Procreate is if I just hold down on the checkbox for the element that I want to display, it'll shut off everything else. So now what you see is I've got panel one isolated with a transparent background. So if I come up here to the toolbar and click share, and then if I share it as a PNG, it will have that transparent background. And then I just copy it to my clipboard and then on the iPad, I can just take my five finger swipe and swipe back over to Comic Draw and make sure I'm in the drawing layer. And then right over here, if I hold and press down on the selection tool, it'll bring up a paste option. I hit paste and bam, it pastes it in as its own layer. And that's pretty cool. And so that's how I've gone through and brought the individual panels back into Comic Draw as a separate layer so that when it comes time to export the page to my desktop as a Photoshop document, it'll be all layered and ready to um, piece out into the, the different images for the PowerPoint. So that's how I've been doing that. All right. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Drawing Through Luke. Stay tuned for upcoming episodes as we go through the progress of the creation of this product. And hey, there's a lot more to discover and explore on cartoonistbible.com. Resources to help you study the Bible, preach and teach the Bible, and just grow deeper in the love of God for the sake of the world. I hope you'll subscribe, share with your friends. We'll see you next time. Thank you.